Okay, finally what we're going to talk about is stringing those two separate ideas together. We've learned how to turn our shitty high cross into a shitty leg shot. We've learned how to, how to use our shitty dump shot into a way to set up a shitty flat rack. And sometimes you get your bow or bro in the head, it's fine. The way that we chain this all together is we use these two separate independent motions as a way to option between all of them. For example, if I throw the setup for the flat wrap and Justice raises his shield to block it, all of a sudden, I have this option open to come in and hit him in the leg. If I throw for the, the dump shot for this flat wrap and Justice comes up and out with his shield, all of a sudden, I'm set up to throw this high cross to the inside. If I go to set up this, if I go to throw this high cross and Justice over commits with his shield over this way, all of a sudden I'm set up to go straight in to my dump shot that's now an actual shot. And so you can start seeing how you chain these things together. And like the way you can go and reset into a neutral guard, the way that I really kind of started thinking about this was as a continuous motion that would wrap around kind of like a crescent around somebody's body. Where I would start off with throwing a attempt at a high cross or just a flat cross chop drag that into a leg and then come up into a flat wrap and then i realized you can start at any point in this arc in this circle and option in any one of those you can decide to start throwing flat come into inside leg you can start throwing flat into high cross and just work top quarters until they get out of position and something lands you can just keep doing that to this day i will still hit people in the leg like their lead leg all day long so that's how you start stringing things together. Instead of thinking about, I'm going to throw this dump shot into a flat wrap, you can start thinking, if I throw this dump shot and they throw their shield way high, because they know that I'm in a flat wrap them next, so go ahead and just throw your shield up way high. Well, this flat wrap's not gonna work, but now I know this is here, etc. You start seeing how to chain these different shots together. And the final thing you're gonna start working on, the final thing that I started working on, was varying the height of this shot here and instead of hitting legs sometimes, going in a little bit deeper and hitting body. And that's where you can really start optioning between four to five different individual shots that chain together really fluidly in these big circular notions. So that's it. I hope you like it. I hope it helps you out.